The flexible intubation scope is one of the most ubiquitous and useful tools in the armamentarium of the anesthesia provider working with a difficult airway patient. Proper handling of the scope is key to its successful use. Flexible intubation scopes are constructed to be held in the left hand. In most providers, this is the non-dominant hand where gross movement will be used. The dominant hand is near the objective where fine motor coordination is important. The scope is held with the insertion cord straight to maximize turning capacity. We see here that when the insertion cord is straight, there is maximal turning of the objective end of the scope. If curves are introduced into the insertion cord, the degree for degree turning of the objective is lost. As the flexible intubation scope is placed into the patient's airway, all anatomy should be recognized. Here we come through an ovisapien airway. We see the tonsils with a tonsillar mass, the epiglottis, the airy epiglottic folds, the corniculate and cuneiform cartilages, the false cords, the ventricle and the true cords, the cricoid cartilage, tracheal rings, and carina. If a tracheal tube has been loaded onto the flexible intubation scope, it is now inserted into the airway and the anesthesia provider strives to see the carina and the bevel of the tracheal tube in the same image.